What is up, my people? As the title suggests, today we're thinking about whether you should be going for shorekeeper, which is a mummy, or should you actually skip this person and go for the true wife, the one that pushed you on the floor? Depending on what your fetishes are, you might choose one or the other, but you know what? Let's actually take a step back. Should you pull shorekeeper or save for Camellia? Bye, your boy. And we're back with those PowerPoint. But from the live stream, we're able to see some information about shorekeeper. Now, there are also leaks out there. I can't really talk about them. That's how it works. But even just with the information shown in the live stream, I think we can already draw a conclusion, which is why we have this video here. Let's just start with slide number one. We got Shorekeeper here, and let's take a look at what I've cooked up for this person. Let me move my face cam a bit to the right here. The first thing we should talk about is what are the roles of Shorekeeper, right? So we got the role written right here. She's a healer slash buffer slash sub DPS, actually. Now, I say sub DPS, but she's not gonna out DPS like your more Teffy, right? That's crazy. Now, come to think of it, I should not have included this sub DPS role for her because she's just not. That's why I called it red though. There's a chance that she could do some damage depending on what she does, especially in the live stream they mentioned special intro skill if Shorekeeper comes in. This might be extra damage, it might just be an extra effect, we'll have to see. But either way, she does some damage, it's not nothing. But yeah, mostly you can just ignore this part. The main thing I want to focus on though is how she's a healer and a buffer. Now, this they have practically mentioned in the live stream itself, and they've literally said to us that she is a Verena replacement. Someone that's going to help Verena alleviate that usage rate, right? Which is why I got point number two. She is Verena tier. She's designed to be that way. And all of a sudden, we can already draw half the conclusion. If I give you two Verenas for two of the teams in Tower Adversity, you take the two Verenas. And Shorekeeper is the second Verena. Depending on what she could do, she might be better or worse or about the same as Verena. Which in the live stream as well, they've also told us what she can buff. Which is why we're the third point point here. In the live stream, they mentioned that the buffs that she grants would be crit damage and damage bonuses. Now, the hosts are speaking in Chinese and the subtitles are in English, but if it directly translates what the host says, he actually says, shorekeeper buffs bao ji xiang guan, which basically means crit related. So from the way he said it, I feel like it's not just crit damage, although it's written there as crit damage. It might also be crit rate, right? They also further mentioned that with shorekeeper, her buffs will change slightly depending on the intro skill that your team does. Again, and if you looked at leaks, maybe you already know, but I haven't looked at leaks yet. This is just what I'm guessing. It might be just crit damage. It might be both, but either way, it's crit related. That's what Shorekeeper buffs. That's something Verena does not do. The second thing that she will buff that they mentioned is um damage bonus, which Verena does it is damage deepen, right? Now, Shorekeeper could also do the same, or she could also buff elemental damage. Either way, we'll have to see, but from the value of what she buffs, she buffs three different things in terms of damage, right? I've got crit damage, potentially crit rate, and damage bonuses as well. That is already already comparable or even better than Verena, depending on the percentages of which she buffs. So immediately we could assume that Shorekeeper is Verena tier, 100% as I said in, um, you know, point number two. That already means you have to pull her. Let me just give it to you straight. But you know what? Let's dive deeper, shall we? Why you should pull for Shorekeeper though? Now I got three points that I think is worth noting for. The first one is relieving Verena's usage rate. Even they mentioned as well in the stream that they're trying to finally alleviate Verena's like stress. And Shorekeeper is the character to do that. If you use Verena, a lot of team crutches on Verena with Baiju being the only replacement that can also be a bit less convenient. They are now releasing Shorekeeper that's just going to be a Verena either duplicate or somewhat even potentially better. No matter if you're a veteran or free to play, especially if you somehow don't have Verena, Shorekeeper becomes your Verena. That's step number one. Now, if you have a Verena, you play a completely different game. It's so good to have one. Now, if you already have a Verena, then if you get a Shorekeeper, you no longer need to care about 20% if you're team building. You always know it's either Team 1 Shorekeeper, Team 2 Verena, or the other way around. And that act of conveniencing yourself, I feel like it's just really good for a game like Wuthering Waves. Moving on to the second point of why I think you should pull for Shorekeeper, she has reliable heals and buffs compared to Baiju. Now, this is purely just me spe uh, speculating. I've not looked at leaks yet. But from the live stream itself, it's shown that Shorekeeper even has a revive mechanic that is similar to Verena. And the heal is massive. It's like you just get an extra life, right? And overall, she is a 5 star. So I think it's more than likely that she will be really good in terms of healing capabilities compared to even Baiju or buff capabilities compared to Baiju as well. That's going to help every single one of your teams feel so much easier. And for me personally, I prefer 
prefer that convenience, right? It's just straight numbers and convenience, simple to use. Now, for players that are hardcore, it doesn't matter, right? You can still use Baiju. She's not, like, just unusable for sure. Takes a bit more skill, in my opinion. But regardless, though, Shorekeeper should make your life so much easier. And right now, you might not be sold, right? You might still think, oh, Shorekeeper's just another arena. Maybe I could just use Baiju. I have a good Baiju. Why do I have to pull, right? This third point might be the reason. It's for future investment. You see, it's a couple of months into Wandering Waves. Getting yourself a Shorekeeper works as kind of a guarantee. In the future, where things get tough, you always have a Shorekeeper that's really reliable, that not only has good healing, you can revive as well. God knows when you will ever really crutch on the revive, but you're gonna thank God you have a good revive if the game releases really hard modes in the future, which it might happen. Or even then, they might release modes where it's time intensive, where Shorekeeper's buff is gonna prove to be very helpful. Imagine a mode where it's the same as Tower Versity. Having two Verena to your buffer or healer just makes your team sing so much better, right? Which is why, considering the future and potential harder endgames coming out, I feel like Shorekeeper is straight up a must pull for any account. So you're not gonna feel like she's useless for sure. But I don't wanna like oversell you on characters though. I wanna be realistic here. If you already have Verena Baiju and you have a team for both of them and they work well, there's not really a need for Shorekeeper. But then again, in that sense, once you build two proper teams, you don't need anyone. Which is why I think we have to consider the convenience and e the ease of use of certain characters. I think Shorekeeper is gonna be the one that's gonna make your life very easy. So just for that, I think she will be worth it. Newer players especially, I think it's guaranteed worthy, right? You want to get yourself a good healer. It's just going to help you out so much. If you're already older though, I'm sure you have your own take. You know what? Share in the comments, right? Not sure why my camera just zoomed in on me. What the? Zoom out further. Damn, yo, my camera is AI and shit. I tell it to do what it does and do it. Right, so that's enough about Shorekeeper. And moving on, we have... Camellia. Now, you might think I'm gonna pull up with some information. Unfortunately, unless I take a look at leaks, which I don't even know if Kuro Game is cool with that. I can't imagine them being cool with that, but leaks are still everywhere, so it's like, do I cover leaks or do I not? I'm gonna say no, because I'm sure they're pissed, but then again, they can't just let leaks be that common. I, I, I go Google search it once. It's like multiple websites, brother. For something that's not supposed to be allowed, it sure is common. You know what? No leaks here, right? Amelia, why would you want to pull her? Dominant wife. Everyone wants her. For like the wrongest of reasons, sure, but hey, just look at her adorable. Although I don't have, like, info on what her kit would do, I still have a valid reason to just go for the conclusion here. In my opinion, you pull for Shorekeeper. She's got a lifeguard hat on because I thought initially Shorekeeper just meant she's a lifeguard. Turns out she's pretty deep and she's, like, some cosmic war god. At least from the trailer. I don't know the lore yet. I haven't read. But yeah, the simple conclusion is I think everyone should just pull for Shorekeeper. Now, I'm not trying to oversell or anything. The fact that she's a separate Verena that the stream has already revealed to be a Verena tier character. I feel like it's extremely unique because there's no one else that can really replace Verena ever. There's Baiju that can patch up as a separate Verena, but then you get a Shorekeeper that is a separate Verena, or maybe even better. Depending on what she further does, it might have even higher value, right? We don't know everything yet. She could have really crazy inherent skill, outro, intro skill, or say even resonance chain. Because here's the deal, you only really need energy regen on buffers like these. So we already have a weapon that gives you a bunch of energy regen. You might not have to pull for her weapon necessarily, but let's say her resonance chains is really good, like the first one. Let's say it's really good. You could go for that instead of the weapon. Use the good old weapon with energy regen, and you could have Shorekeeper be an insane character that's even better than Verena. And come to think of it, what if you put both of them? Verena and Shorekeeper in the same team. The final DPS is gonna go insane. And hence why I have the conclusion here of really versatile healer stuff buffer. It's really, it should be really easy to build. It should be really valuable. And it saves you a lot of heartache in terms of team building and all that. Definitely worth pulling in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I cannot wait for her. She's gonna come tomorrow. More content over to come. Maybe a guide as well. Don't subscribe, you hear me? And that would be all. Take care.